Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In the past, I have shown you quite a few different techniques for finishing up a rope mat. Today, we're going to continue the tradition and we're going to take a look at yet another way. We're going to cover the mat side splies. This technique results in a fairly hidden and neat looking finish for a rope mat. Let's take a look. Here I have a rope mat, more specifically a thump mat, which I would like to finish up using the mat side splice. The two ends are meeting up at some point in the mat. We're going to splice the two ends, one end, from one side to the other, and the other end from this side towards the other. So something like this. But first off, we need to remove any protection from the ends and unravel them a bit. Like this. We are now almost ready to begin our splice from side to side. So now that we have unraveled our two ends, we're going to need to pass our strands through the mat. For this purpose, some sort of a tool is usually needed. Now you can use a marlin spike, a wooden fed, or if you have one, a Swedish fed. Basically, this enables you to create a gap in your rope, through which you can then push one strand from one of your ends. So some sort of a tool is what I recommend. We now have Two unravel tents, one on each side. We have three strands per end that we need to feed through the remaining passes in our mat. To do this, I'm going to first do one side, then the other. I'm first going to travel through three of my passes, like this, so through one row. Take one strand and feed it through, like this. Then we're going to pass through our passes in the next row up. So here. Feed the next end through. And the final end is again going to be passed through the three passes in the third row. Like this. Now turn around your mat. Like this. We have three strands left to do. The first one is going to travel through a row below. So this is an unoccupied row below one of the rows from a strand coming from left to right. Feed one end to do it, like this. 
The next strand is going to travel through an already occupied row here. So basically this is the second row from bottom up. like this. So we have two strands in our second row. And the last of our strands is going to pass through a row above. Again, this row is already occupied. So take the last remaining strand and feed it through. Then pull on all of the strands to tighten everything up. Like this. Then pull on all of the passes here at the top and at the bottom to tighten up your splice like this. So essentially we have four rows. One at the top occupied by a single strand. The second one occupied by two strands. The third one occupied by two strands as well. And the fourth strand occupies the last of our rows. Four rows, three strands on each side. And you are done. So this is the mat side splice. A finish for a rope mat that doesn't stand out too much. Thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial and I hope to see you in my future ones as well.